hot. One morning I just woke up and could not see anything but flashing lights. And that's when it started. A lot of times I would be staring so much I could, you know, it was almost like tunnel vision. Someone was willing to treat me, not just medicate me. Then when I found out that about epilepsy surgery, I was like, what? What? I thought no such thing could be done. So the responsive neurostimulator was approved in November 2013, and we were very excited when we could offer it to our patients. First patient that we implanted in uh, January is a lady in her 40s, and she had seizures since uh, 12 years of age. It's been six months now since January, and uh, I can go for a week without anything or they've gotten to the point where they're so short, I barely notice them. Hard to believe that something, something so small could do so much. It can stop the seizure very quickly, few seconds into the seizure, before the seizure actually becomes clinically, before the seizure affects the patient. After the patient is implanted, the uh, patient will stay overnight in the hospital. In the morning, we go on rounds um, and we'll teach the patient how to use the device. Um, patient receives um, a laptop from the company. Now on the laptop, um, all the data will be transferred. We have a wand, which looks like a little handhold device, and we will teach the patient where to put it um, he doesn't have to touch or rub, but we'll just hold it uh, gently on top of the area where we implanted the device. The device is rather um, small, almost looks like a flat battery. The patient um, will have an option to click interrogate the device. Then I ask it to interrogate. And right now it's gathering the information from the day. And once that comes to the screen, it says information was gathered successfully from your neurostimulator. And all the data from the device, the RNS, will transfer into the laptop. We will teach the patient to do this uh, daily in their own house, um, usually at the same time of the day, either in the mornings or the evenings. So the data every single day from the device will go into the laptop. That's way the doctor can go once a week and look up what happened to their patients. And in the studies, um, was also shown that after using it for several months, it started preventing some of the seizures. I never thought I'd be able to be where I am. I guess in a way you could say I was ashamed. And now it's sort of like, yes, I have epilepsy, so what? And, you know, I want other, you know, I know there's other people out there that probably feel the same way. And, you know, they might be wondering what, what, what is out there? They, they may be just as unaware as I was that this was possible. And so I want to say, hey, guess what? <laughs>